Hi, Tall. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm not too bad. Uh, looking forward to this. Yeah, it's been uh, a bit of a long time coming. Obviously, we played like games and everything on stream and whatnot, but I don't think we've ever really done like a collaboration thing on YouTube. No. Um, until now. Until now. It's only took us to 1.0. <laughs> it's only taken so. us five years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nine nine days until thing is. Uh, I'm curious on, because um, a lot of people think, you know, I've been thinking, oh, is this a new playthrough? Is it uh, uh, a new um, a podcast? What is it? <laughs> Yeah. It's just a video. Yeah, we, we <laughs> just all in chat, you know? <laughs> yeah. We start, we just chat about what we've kind of, mainly on the previous update, uh, teaser that we just received, with the whole explanation on the quantum stuff and all that kind of thing. So um, it could be just a one-off and maybe, we, I don't know, we do something in a month's time or two months' time. Yeah. Or but, yeah. if people really like it, we could maybe do it next week as well. Depends. Yeah. Leading up to... True. Because we've got another teaser video, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> I was so annoyed when I saw that. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, we've got to wait another week. Well, yeah. Should we just jump straight into it, to be honest? Yeah. We, uh, um, so I think the first thing was you saw something at the end of the video, right? Oh, um, yeah. So when I was looking through it, I caught in the left hand side a new window or what I, I perceive to be the new window i didn't have the hexagonal window in front of me that we already have in game and yeah. checking over that it it is a different window altogether so that's a yeah. new buildable for us yeah um but that wasn't the only thing there apparently which i totally <laughs> missed <laughs> yeah because i was watching your premiere when you did that video and i saw you talking about it and i looked down and i was like that's a weird looking shadow and if you look at it it's kind of like the shape of steps so I'm just wondering, are we receiving like uh, your two height, the two meter stairs, or two meter uh, foundation, uh, four meter foundation steps? Yeah. So, because yeah. really we don't we don't need the the one meter, right? Because, no. yeah. So, and I don't think we there was anything else majorly new except all the information well, about <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the the summer sleep <laughs> thing, just that yeah. little elephant in the room. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I when you pointed that out to me earlier, I thought it was just a shadow from the railing, but mm. then looking at it a little bit more in depth, it looks like it could definitely be some steps, which is cool, because we don't have anything like that. We had the stairwell, which I always yep. felt was a bit too small, and then we have <laughs> the catwalk walkways that are ramps and stairs. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I'd, I'd like to have an actual buildable piece that we can use without having to cheat it in there using beams and <laughs> pillars all the time. Yeah, yeah, just kind of like cheating away. Because normally, because obviously in, in in past, you can, with the update, you can just hold control and you can kind of put it onto there yeah. and change it and all stuff. But that's all old news, but we've got good news. We've now got Mark Six belts. Yes. Which is confirmed. So uh, let's hear your thoughts on it first. I, I don't think people have let it sink in just how big a change this is to the game. And I, I, I think the the whole of everything that we're getting in, in this is really changing. It's going to change the way that we play the game. 100%. Um, so first off, with the, the Mark III Minor, with us able to use that on a pure node now, fully mm -hmm. overclocked, that's 1,200 resources per minute. So yep. far, we've only been able to do, what, 780 as a max output. So yep. you, you take that 420, and I was looking on Satisfactory Calculator earlier today as to how many pure nodes there are. And yes, they are moving some and removing some, but there's yep. 120 yep. pure nodes. Yeah, but you've you got to think about it, right? It's like we've, we're going from 780 to 1,200, and that's what... Uh, a forty percent increase. Yeah, on top of what we we already have, that's forty percent more ore, and then plus we've, you know, they've been rebalanced around the map and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Which, um, so yeah. Well, I, I was looking at it, and if we assume that there are a hundred pure nodes, that's that's forty-two thousand more items per minute. If you're a min maxer, yeah. 
Yeah. And that is a lot. And yes, it may be basic resources like iron and copper, but obviously later on we're going to talk about how that's really important because of yeah. <laughs> the new converter. But the other yeah. thing with the Mark VI belts is how that's going to affect logistics in the end game, I think. Um, so the yeah. big thing at the moment, most people use either trains or trucks. Some people are like conveyor through, through um, thoroughbreds and just use that for their, their play yeah, through. straight straight all the way through. <laughs> I can't do that. Do I have to use I have to use one piece of even if it's just one truck at one time. I have to use one of everything. That's that's me. What do you use? Do you do you use your mall or? I I am a, a, a train purist. I'm going to try and do a bit yeah. of everything for 1.0. But it occurred yeah. to me because of that how much this is going to affect us because the amount of resources that we're going to be getting per minute for a train input yep. we're just going to have <laughs> trains paused in the loading system all the time yep, so that's yep. gonna change the way that we run trains and manage our trains all the time yeah um whether that's we do have using... to take into account though because like it's 780 per minute now we can go at maximum right mm -hmm. i currently have a train line that goes from the swamp to the golden coast and it takes approximately, uh, with one hill in there, but it comes down on a one hill bike, it takes seven and a half minutes to get to the swamp and five and a half minutes to get to the Golden Coast. How many That's with... slots are in the train station, the freight station? Do we know that? I'm pretty sure it's 30-something, isn't it? Okay. 30-something. So, if it's whenever... a basic ore node, uh -huh. that's... Two is it two hundred stack size for iron or is it a hundred? Uh, two hundred. So you testing me? You're looking at six per minute within within what six minutes? That is full. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a full it, it, station. It's pretty rapid because like I'm because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's two hundred. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two hundred. Um. We should have actually researched this because... Yeah, it didn't occur um, to us at the time. Yeah, because I do know that when my train comes and picks it up and takes it to the swamp, it's not... The carriages aren't full, mm. right? And they're only just a bit half full. So I'm just wondering if that 1,200 is going to push it to... But then it all, it all depends on how many trains I've got. I've got seven trains doing a lap picking up from, a, from that. That is a lot of... Or a lot of that trains. you are and processing. Got, <laughs> and they've got 18 carriages with uh, six um, locomotives on. So, and that, it's keeping optimal speed. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. But that that's going to change. And then if you're using trucks, you can't mm -hmm. just add more. Well, you can. You can add more trucks to, to your roads. But the problem is the oh, more yeah, trucks no. that you have, if it's nearby <laughs> to a player... Unless they mm -hmm. fix that, you're going to have um, some accidents, as I'm sure you're yeah. aware. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely aware, because uh, everything was running fine, because I was like, oh, it's only a short distance, let's put a couple of trucks down. Eventually, I think it was like 48 trucks, I, I believe it was something on the lines of that. And I already started seeing stuff happening, and what the problem was, was when a train was coming into render distance, it comes a solid and it then, you know, if, if it's going, if it's phasing through another one, it then Plings. pops, yeah, <laughs> and launches. So I, I, I scrapped that whole thing. I was like, yeah, I can't have this. That's going to be even yeah. worse now. Yeah, yeah. But speaking of the belts, what do you think your recipe is going to be for it? Oh, um, I really don't know. I, well, I think we can expect it to be the new Fixite Trigons. Tri yeah, I agree. Trigons, I agree. Yeah. But I think there's going to be something else. I, the thing is, I think the Mark VI belt needs to have something to stop us from just spamming it. Yeah. Because um, otherwise, like, there's there's no point in using anything else. Yeah. I think I talked to you about, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to cost us, because I think computers are going to be involved in this. And I think potentially it's either going to take the neural quantum processors mm -hmm. or... Uh, the time crystals. Yeah, potentially. Or or maybe, just thinking about it, maybe the superposition oscillators. It's not really but teleportation, yeah, but it's mm -hmm. an advanced item that's related to... Yeah. The transporting of items? <laughs> it, could, it could even take them uh, the... what we're kind of calling it at the minute, from what we can 
correct down is the strange antimatter fluctuators, right? Yeah. It Maybe could. That. Well, the the thing is, if it was that, I mm -hmm. mean, what it looks like with quantum at the moment is that our only real drawback is the amount of uh, strange antimatter. Um, <laughs> There's so many big words. Sam, like... Sam or stuff yeah. that we're going to be using yeah. for this. Yeah. And yeah. I, I don't. I think we'll use it somewhere within the production line, but I don't think it'll be the fluctuators. I, I think that that's needed elsewhere yeah. with like the converters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the only reason we're calling them the fluctuators, by the way, is because when you there's, there's multiple times you see Snut during the video kind of do the whole glitchy glitchy thing, mm -hmm. and then there is a the clearest one where he does do he says fluctuators, and it kind of the audio stops the scrambling and you can you kind of hear the rest of Earth. it <laughs> yeah and then as we know from the satisfactory wiki from the unreleased stuff there's an item called the sound you know, fluctuator some fluctuators yeah which is where we got a lot of the other stuff right from which is you know the quantum encoder and all that stuff mm -hmm. we'll get to that stuff later yeah um but yeah i think i i'm on the same playground i think it's going to be either the the uh fix site or the fix site trigons um, mm -hmm. That will go into there. Well, I'd, sure. I'd say the the fixite trigons because if I remember rightly, in the the trailer, it was saying it's like the perfect build material. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, I could even just throw some aluminium with it. Um, maybe, but yeah. I still think it would be too easy by that point. To, <laughs> That's true to cause... build because you have everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because what goes into the uh, fixite trigons? It's the uh, well, it's either iron, cadmium, or, or aluminium. aluminium. Which then goes in with the Sound. strange antimatter yeah. fluctuators again, what we're calling it. That then goes into the converter, which makes the fixite iron ingots, and then the constructor into the fixite mm -hmm. trigons. But we don't obviously don't know the, the the per minute and item and all that kind of stuff yet. Yeah. So uh, we'll that's see how actually that goes. a um, a good transition into the converter. The I think. Converter. Yeah. 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 So what and, do you uh, think about the converter? <laughs> so the converter is, when it first got announced, I didn't spot it. It wasn't until I, uh, you mentioned it, um, and then it was behind the thing. I was like, oh, ah. spicy. Um, and I, I saw the fluids, but obviously the converter, I think I think it's a cool, cool building. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the first of its kind that brings in an item that doesn't need a node. Yeah. Um, and I, th I feel like this building is going to be massive and i mean massive for end game production um just because of the flexibility this building can give you mm -hmm. and also how it can change everything in regards to if you want to build more nuclear plants you could do uh if you want to because you bring in more uranium we can kind of see that uh and it, like the the other one that's kind of big and there's multiple recipes in there mm -hmm. uh but it's a it's a building that is going to be vital for end game production and change literally everything uh it does fluctuate power i do believe right yes it yep, power? as well yeah it's a, yeah. another big thing i i agree with you fully i think it's a it's going to be used as a tool for most players just to to have that flexibility like snut mentioned in terms of if you need more resources you can convert resources mm. that are readily available into what you need and you can chain them together uh, so yeah. that you can have any resource but i think the the real strength here lies with the min maxers who really like to squeeze as much as possible out of the game like yeah. you will be able to get more uranium or more sulfur or cotarium if you need it. Um, yeah. The only real limit I think here is, well, obviously the SAM, how, however they're doing that, whether we're getting more nodes, which uh, I think yeah. we are. I, I yeah. assume well, we, we are. Well, we did talk you, about it earlier, yeah, right? Yeah, you mentioned we, the new node. Yeah, so as we know, for those that are, I mean, if you don't know, we, we've got quite a few nodes that have been removed. And it's come to my attention that it, we might that's where the new samoys could be located because you know it, it needs to be more around the ores to help with production later on and the only one we know exactly right at the minute is the one that's in the crater lakes right it'd be interesting i i don't know if you checked whether that's actually in the place of what where another node was it's not it's mm. where a summer sleep was oh 
Yeah, so it's just behind because I, I was there the other day and we went to it and we just, you know, matched it up. And there's a summer sloop just in front of it. Um, so I don't know if that summer sloop is there. I couldn't see it. I couldn't hear it mm. and I couldn't see the pink glow. Um, but there is like an island in front of that, which does mean for those who like to spam water extractors in that location, you're not going to be doing that there now because <laughs> you'll have to work around that island. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and obviously, with that, if you are someone who likes to really min-max, um, just to, to go back to, to my point, I think along with power now being a much bigger requirement, as you mentioned, the fluctu fluctuating of power, all of the new buildings by the looks of it so far use that, um, yeah. which we'll, we'll, I think we'll talk about in a little bit. But the other thing is performance-based for our PCs. Yeah. Um, yeah. that is going to be the limit. That's going to be the hard limit for our factories now, not the amount of resources because there isn't really a hard limit on the raw resources that we have because we can convert it all. And yeah. obviously yeah. the new resources and stuff that it's producing, fantastic, great to have expanded production lines, but mm -hmm. the fact that it converts items is just such a huge game changer yeah. Yeah. for us all. It's just like you don't you don't need to travel across the map. You might you might not want to put a thing. You might just want to get a quick, you know, bunch of box sites at this location. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to instantly put a cord of, um, you know, 200 copper in there. I think that's what the recipe is: 200 copper to 120 box site inside that. If I'm not mistaken. Um, the only and other thing, sorry, just to jump in because you're absolutely right is when the converter will be available. And if it's specifically mm. with quantum tech, it sounded like it was phase nine, but it might be that the converter isn't specifically quantum te tech and it might be available earlier, in which case it's gonna work fantastically for anyone who's yeah. trying to set their middle to, to, let's say early late game factories. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I would like to see it maybe seven or eight. Um, but I feel like they are going to yeah. put it in nine as the first unlockable because you're going to unlock the fixed site stuff straight away. That's the building yeah. you need for fixed site stuff. That's going to be the building you're going to need to uh, with the the fluctuators. Um, and then logistics. from there, after that, you'll probably need the trigons, maybe as a milestone with uh, some of the other stuff from the uh, fluctuator, uh, some of the fluctuator, the uh, converter. Mm hmm to unlock that milestone um, to get the quantum encoder. Oh, I feel wait. Like if we need the SAM fluctuator mm -hmm. in order to build it, do you think yep. they'd be unlocked together or would that be available earlier? I, yeah, I think when we I think when we get into tier nine, the first one we're going to go for is the, I think we'll have SAM or unlock. Mm -hmm. There'll mm -hmm. be a button for SAM or so we can mine it. Yeah, and then we can that will unlock the fluctuators, these well strange antimatter fluctuators, um, and then there'll be another one next to it, which will be the converter, because I think we'll need the fluctuators to unlock that with maybe some stuff from tier eight and seven. Okay, just to throw a curveball, mm -hmm. you don't think it's related to MAM research, because there is a MAM research that is um, greyed out that we don't know, and. That we true. can harvest resources earlier on. Like you can, un like start mining uranium without researching uranium-related tech. Maybe I, ne I never thought about them. Ni neither because did I we, just yeah, until we, right we, now. Yeah, because when we looked at the hard drive video, yeah, there was one a, a line out. there, and then we also saw, um, as you stated in I think one of your videos as well, the hard drives. Some of the buildings were actually grayed yes, out. Yeah. So looks like we're getting new, hopefully, uh, early to yeah. mid game factory uh, buildables, which would be yeah. nice. So it could be something to explore as another video, maybe, I don't know, this week mm. is we look at that hard drive and now potentially look at what the recipes are that could go into the new build, uh, new buildings. Got a frog in my throat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, potentially. So, yeah, uh, there's the so much that. Watching these videos, I'm getting more questions than I am answers, even yeah. when Snut's yeah. explaining everything. Yeah. And even now when we're talking about it, we're going down a deeper deeper hole. Yeah, like, this is a 20 not, minute video. <laughs> yeah, we've got a list. We we was like, we need to make this at least a 20 minute video. If it goes to 30 minutes, it's fine. I guarantee, how long have we been recording right now? Uh, we're at 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're already there and we've not even touched on quite... It's uh, just allow it. It's going to be maybe a one off. Just, just accept it. Y yeah. We hope yeah. you enjoy it, guys. If you want more <laughs> of this, just let us know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, where's my list gone? Okay. I think we so, uh, can touch on the quantum encoder after that now. Yeah. So we won't talk about just the liquid just yet that comes from the converter. Yeah. We'll get to that after the quantum encoder. Uh, but do you want to talk about the quantum quant 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 quantum encoder so my my first um like point on the the quantum encoder is actually the liquid <laughs> uh, so i'll just say we can okay we can bounce off that but the the big thing from the quantum encoder for me um one of two big things is the the pink juice as you put it which yeah, is <laughs> the dark matter residue i'm just calling it dark matter unless they actually give us dark matter which is its yeah. own conversation yeah um yeah. which we'll save for a later date yeah um, but fun fact the dark matter for those that don't know is the the uh we talked about this in a video which was the nuclear pasta originally was going to be called dark matter um, okay, and, uh, okay, we're talking about this now. Yeah. Do you yeah. really think that's the case? Because you still I, do exclama like exclamation mark give dark matter with pack, and you get the model of the dark matter, and it's yeah. just like the nuclear pasta, as you point. Mm -hmm. But they're two different items, and originally I was of the belief that yes, you're right. Yeah. That that it is just a they've reskinned it as nuclear pasta but now yeah. that we have dark matter residue i mm -hmm. think that dark matter might still be in the game i think you think we might a... be able to produce that with Ooh, dark matter yes. residue and pressure cubes because that's what, what it's clearly that? made out of and it can go towards a space elevator part i was just about to say that could be the last space elevator part yeah but we'll get to that later. We see we're jumping all over the place. <laughs> we, we can't um, help we're ourselves. We're too excited. All right, There's, we're, we're factory nerds. Uh, uh, okay, but yeah, quantum encoder, residue, pink. Sorry, juice. yes, yeah. Back to that. Yeah. The the big thing for me, other than the power shards, which we'll talk about in a moment, is the byproduct from all the quantum encoders is the dark matter residue, and you have to do mm -hmm. something with it. You could store <laughs> it, I guess, forever, unless we're able to flush it. Yeah, we can. That's a good point. Actually, because um, yeah, he hasn't mentioned whether we can. He just said that we can't just package yeah, it I'll, and sink I, it. I, I, I did. I did the funny <laughs> thing is, funny you brought this up because um, someone in my chat, uh, you know him as well, called Little Bits. He he mentioned why can't we just constantly flush this? And yeah. I was like, imagine us doing that every thirty seconds. Let's get someone in multiplayer to do it. Then I was, and then I'm thinking about it. You can just put like a hundred. Yeah, you do like a massive <laughs> industrial bu buffer of like a thousand buffers. You let oh, it fill God. up and then you flush it and then you're done. Um, yeah, just, just stack them. Just oh, don't tell Josh that. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the next thing. <laughs> but um, the fact that let, let's let's argue the point that we're not able to do that. And the fact that we have yeah. to find a use for it. That is really interesting. People struggled with aluminium when that was first brought in with the byproduct yeah. of water, right? Water, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we have easy solutions to that. You use wet concrete or you package yeah. it, your choice, yeah. but you can get rid of it, you can sink it. You can't do that with this. So that adds another level of difficulty for all players in the game. Yeah, because new players, when they come against that, they, the byproduct of water, it's like, what am I going to do with this? Like, am I going to package it? Am I going to... But the, the easiest solution is to make it into oh, just wet concrete. Yeah, yeah, or loop it back in, which is... Yeah, loop it back in, which I've had... But I won't talk about that on here, but I've had problems with, <laughs> with that. That's how I found the Mark II, Mark I pipe bug. He's never combined uh... a Mark II and a Mark... Never combine a Mark II pipe and a Mark I pipe. That's how I found that bug out. So always just use one pipe even if it's like i know because i'm a person that does it as well is load balance liquid into machines so i always put a mark ii pipe runway with mark ones going in mm, and uh i learned it. the hard way don't do that yeah. <laughs> yeah um the other thing that i had with the quantum encoder is obviously the power shards the mm. synthetic power shards and the the, the biggest yeah. thing for that is that it's going to allow us to uh, produce more in a smaller factory, which is obviously going to be good for optimization when it yeah. comes to, to big factories, because I go down to like 15 FPS in my nuclear facility <laughs> at the moment, which is ridiculous. Yeah, because <clears throat> yeah, um, I, I think it's a really good thing as well, because like 
in my recent playthrough, I've I spawned in the power shards. Yeah, as I we've done it as well. Very early on. Yeah, we're like, you know, we've done the exploration thing over and over again. But now this gives us a reason to actually make it. So I think most mega builders now are going to build module until you get to that end game because mm -hmm. there's no point in going big, big early because you're going to have to do all of this late game stuff and it's going to take hours to go through all of that. I tell you what, um, one thing that I really hope has come for 1.0 is the ability to copy and paste your power shards to things like your nuclear plants, your coal oh. generators, water extractors. I swear, if they don't allow us to do that, <laughs> I'm quitting. Yeah, I am I'm leaving the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uninstalling. Yeah, just, yeah, it needs to be. That needs to be done. No, but there's, I've been, there's been multiple times where I put like 500 fuel gens down. I'm like one in. Click, yeah. Click, click, boom, click, click, boom. Running up and down. And uh, yeah. 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 So hopefully that gets fixed. But the um, the um we can also jump with this because the quantum encoder also uses a, a lot of power. It fluctuates mm -hmm. in power. Again, another Again, the same works. with the converter, <laughs> the same with the particle accelerator. Our mm -hmm. late game factories are gonna need either us to have huge amounts of power storage to, to cope yep. with that draw, which we don't really <clears> use <throat> that much at the moment. That I, I feel yeah. that very few people have these big <clears throat> power uh, power uh, power storage plants because it's just not that needed. Um, mm -hmm. Or the other thing is that it, it requires us to have uh, to make use of the power, priority power switches and really working out what you want on each circuit. Or failing that, obviously, we're going to need to be producing a lot more power as well. Yeah, yeah. There's how many stages of power is there now? You've got coal, you've got oil. Well, Don't biomass, forget biomass. Yeah, I, I should have <laughs> really forget that now. It's automated now. It's auto well, it's not well, automated fully. Or is it? Uh, well, you never know. You never <laughs> could know. you imagine the like, cubby, having the a tractor in, with a reaper and you're just like driving around collecting biomass? But the thing is, right, is right. the um, excited photonic matter, the blue juice, is now coming from the atmosphere. What if it also does liquid biofuel? Oh. You never know. Um, hmm. So, but who's going to use biomass? Like, the only reason I use liquid biofuel is for jetpack. That's it. I won't use it for thing back uh, then. I'm a turbo fuel man. I, I need if... to go fast and hard. <laughs> right. But what if it might be used in recipes in the liquid biofuel might need to go into blenders now for some recipes oh. and it might come from that machine. We don't know. No, that's true. Yeah. It, it would be nice so. to have more of a use for the liquid biofuel. Yeah, it needs some love. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I remember in the trailer, was it update five? When they, we had all them signs in the forest, do you yes, remember that? Yes, yeah. And it was like liquid biofuel, what does, what's this needed for on the sign? It was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully um, they have something for it now. Yeah, but it's a cool looking building. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so it's a big building. We've figured out the size is six in, well, 6.5 in length in foundations. I swear you were going to say wide. it was about 6.5 inches then. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there, Tom. We'll go tell the people. You know? I, know, I know we've spooned and everything, but <laughs> whatever arms happens in Amsterdam stays in Amsterdam. <laughs> Well, I'm uh, I'm left speechless. <laughs> <laughs> the the amount of comments we're gonna go get now from people yep. like what what happened? Tell us. We, yeah. we need a podcast on Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were saying El Grande a lot when we was walking down that street. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Phrasing is so out of context. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Where, where was we? Quantum encoder. Um, uh, the size of it six yes. six and a half. Let in length, foundations in length, with three wide. It's got a chunky middle, and what's the inputs? It's got a solid output. Uh, three solid inputs and one a liquid input. One matter input. That's called. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a gas. Oh. It's not a plasma. It's not a liquid. It's. it's I'm just calling it juicy. Why do they liquid. make it so complicated for us with small brains? <laughs> I don't know. It's the same with neural quantum processes and strange antimatter fluctuates. Yeah, they could have left it as matter. quantum computers. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody at Coffee Stain was too busy enjoying research and wikis <laughs> and looking into uh, oh. some, whatever. Whatever. But yeah. Um, I'm sh pretty sure there's an item we're missing from the quantum encoder. We've got uh, power shards. The fixonium. 
Oh, we haven't even... Well, actually, no, you, you, we've also got the superposition oscillators. We've got the... Yeah. Uh, oh, no, the time crystals quantum, are in yeah, the... Quantum computers are in the input. Time, yeah. time crystals? Ta yeah, time crystals is... Uh, well, coal into diamond. We need to touch yeah. on this because 600 coal is going to make 30 diamond per yeah, minute. Yeah, that is... Uh, that's compact. a chunk. <laughs> if you think about it, though, it, it is a Mark III miner on a Mark VI belt. With That's a 60 output of diamond. Um, and we've got a lot more coal. We've got a lot more coal in game. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got, we, yeah, we got, we got all the new nodes, and then we've got the extra 40% from Mark III miners yeah, now. Yeah, so. exactly. So there's a lot, a lot. Um, but we've also got... Um, uh, the, the, the superposition oscillator. Mm -hmm. We've not really seen much of that in the least nope. recent trailers. All we know is and that could be used leaked. for the space elevator part, right? Yeah, and yeah, and as we as we know, it states on there used in teleportation. If you've read the description, if you haven't, have a quick read of it. Um, and we've we've had we've had the superposition oscillator what since three three four years ago now since Fixmas. Yeah, Fixmas. Yeah, first first yeah. Fixmas. <clears throat> Along with the quantum computer, which is now the supercomputer. Oh, could you imagine so, if they've removed the super um, position oscillator just to <laughs> screw with us? <laughs> yeah. If if we was to speculate on the superposition oscillator and we know it's used for transportation, and we go back to the wiki that involved possible where we got you know the the other items like the quantum encoder and all this stuff, there is a machine in there. Yes. Which is what was it? The personal, the, the remote, remote storage, sto remote sto Was it remote storage? Personal, yeah, storage? remote storage. Yeah. It's the one in the, in the very very early days of trail in the trailer. Yeah, you can actually see if, if you actually go back, you can see. You might not have known this. You can see the quantum encoder, in the original trailer, launch mm -hmm. trailer, and the personal, uh, the the, uh, the what was it? The teleportation. The uh, 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 remote con. Remote control units, remote, remote storage. <laughs> remote storage. <laughs> yeah, way. remote storage. Uh, and it looks a weird. It might have a makeover. It might come in. Uh, but I'm curious on how that potentially could be used. Uh, is it going to be an A to B storage? Is it going to be just a personal storage to you I, as a pioneer? Yeah. Let us know. Because we. I, I don't think we should speculate on this. I okay. think the comments should do it. I, I have um, my thoughts, but I'll keep them to myself for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because who knows? We might find out this Friday. I. Well, the other thing is that... The what it was used for. If you go back to the coffee stain videos, they actually talk about it in one of them, and mm. as to why it was scrapped. But we all know that eh, coffee yeah, stain drones don't wasn't necessarily coming in. tell the truth. They like to, yeah. to keep us guessing. Yeah, and what did they say in the previous video? Oh, we lied about. Yeah. we lied about them. Yeah, so <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Um. But yeah, supercomputers are now officially what we know as the quantum computers. Uh, we kind of noticed yeah, we, that we in the that. video. Yeah, so we, we noticed like, was like, hold on a minute, this the the manufacturer is taking in the recipe for the quantum computers. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, sorry, the super supercomputers. But then it's outputting the quantum computers that we know. Yeah. And I was like, hold on a minute. Um, so this could be a change mm -hmm. or something else has been it, it does make sense and it is something yeah. why you know it, it doesn't make sense for a computer quantum computer to be made before the quantum yeah machine. i i speculated in the 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 very first 1.0 um release um date trailer that oh may, mm. maybe this has changed maybe this is not the 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 supercomputer but it's it's the uh the quantum computer uh, yeah. Sorry, the quantum computer, but the, now the the supercomputer. And my <clears throat> my reasoning was because it just didn't make sense that we were putting quantum computers yeah. into quantum encoders. And yeah. Snut obviously mentioned that in the last video that that's that was their reasoning as well. So yeah, yeah. Was... The first thing that um, come to my mind was when Snut mentioned in the trailer of oh, uh, supercomputers are no more. I could just imagine Kibbs dying inside, <laughs> <laughs> like just because oh he's known for saying supercomputers yes. <laughs> and he, he loves the trash can style bit, the, the items so and then he would have been relieved when he would have like oh this is the new supercomputer yep. you got a new upgraded trash bin so. <laughs> it does look a bit like one of those big rusty metal round trash cans yeah that you see outside and the, the old one is the one you get in your own kitchen when you put your foot on it yeah you know? <laughs> No, I, I I do like the model of the quantum computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't want to yeah. hit on it too much. 
Yeah. yeah. But we, we, this is been in there because the quantum computer, is, we know it's going to get made in the manufacturer and we know the manufacturer is kind of showcasing it with mm -hmm. the animation when the machine turns. So, um, right. Is that the quantum code we're done? Yeah, we're done I, I think we can touch on the Fixonium um, um, and how that well, affects the... the oh, we, yeah, we were talking about power, weren't we? Yeah, the power. Coal. And also... Fuel. We... <laughs> Turbo fuel. <laughs> Nuclear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we've got by, yeah, there's there's so much of that, and to be honest, like fuel has had a big overhaul over the years, anyway. Yeah, well, even in uh, this one as well. Mm, yeah, with the the fuel gens producing more, I can't even remember more power, yeah. but using the same amount of fuel. Yeah, because they use twenty, uh, use um, ch consume twelve, and make one fifty, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know if the top of my head. Yeah, it, it, it used to be it used to be fifteen fuel for one hundred and fifty. Where now it's twelve fuel. Okay. For one hundred and fifty. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, fuel source fixonium, the IKEA lamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is made from uh, singularity cells. Yeah, the Death Star looking things. Nuclear pasta. Is it? Is it? Is it? I thought I thought it was going into the particle accelerator. So it was the the hold on a minute the, the I'm, singular I'm, I'm, cell I'm... and the plutonium and uh, waste and the EPM. EPM. Yeah, so we have a manufacturer. DPM. That... Dark matter residue. Sorry, that's the one. There's so many big things in this. <laughs> we know what we mean. We just can't get to the point to tell you about it. Like. I'm going to be honest. We know the recipe. Uh, you guys will probably put us in the comments and go, you mean this? We, yeah. yeah. Like, if you want to put it in, put it in. But we know it's going to make the Death Star. The Death Star then goes in with plutonium and... The dark matter juice. residue. Yes. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. We got there. We got there. And that makes the IKEA lamp. And the IKEA lamp then heads into the quantum encoder with the, electromagnetic with the trigons control rods the trigons yeah. and the pink juice no blue juice <laughs> blue juice <laughs> too much juice the ecstatic <laughs> e e not ecstatic excited photonic matter <sighs> yeah. I, I hate you guys at coffee could, stain could for you this. imagine <laughs> i was just trying to describe this in a let's play video yeah like, you know, or even a guide and you're like yeah the the matter goes into this place the ma no nah. Yeah, not happening. In my in my previous video, I already put in about four flashes of text going computer because I was talking about the quantum <laughs> computer, but I was talking about the quantum encoder, and I was like, hold on a minute, what? Uh, I was already getting confused. Yeah, so. it's 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 a mind bend. <clears throat> it, yeah. it really is. But it goes into the encoder. It then makes fixonium fuel rods. Um, and just before we started recording, I I had a double check to see how much it could be making and it looks mm -hmm. like it could be around this is a ballpark number potentially an i uh, one per minute sorry yeah. one per 20 seconds yeah, you, one per minute. i, I think it's i think it's slightly higher i think it's 30 yeah, you think 30 it's seconds yeah. maybe or even a minute but yeah. the the thing is um we were both talking about this and snut jumped into my stream earlier and i said mm -hmm. oh can you clarify when you say it's a worse type of fuel is it producing mm -hmm. more radiation or is it uh, producing less power or is it um, yep. burning faster and, and snuts confirmed that it burns a lot faster yeah. which is why we're, we're we're basing our maths on these lower numbers because plutonium <clears throat> it's one rod every 10 minutes 10 minutes and then yeah, the uranium and... fuel rod is every five minutes every five minutes. and so, so you, we'll look at it, it this could one. either yeah. be half that or it could be much lower is, is yeah, our, yeah. Thought around, around there. I, but I, I have... I, the big yeah. thing is no waste facilities now. Yes. So we have a we can do a full loop now. Yeah. And I wouldn't have touched plutonium. Uh, well, I'd, I'd create the plutonium fuel rods and sink them, but I yeah. would never think of using that yeah. as a, a in my facility. Yeah. Now I can. And I need to um, I need to touch on this as well because I don't. I don't think people realize how hard and difficult it is to try and load balance to make these um, fixonium fuel rods to be consumed, mm -hmm. 
but then because they need to be 100% consumed, stored or sink, sunk um, to keep everything else going in the chain. And you need to keep it moving in the chain because otherwise you'll get plutonium backing up, you'll get nuclear waste backing up. Yeah. So you need to make sure this is something that you look at as a, you know, a priority when it comes to making sure it's optimized. Um, yeah. Otherwise, everything will back up. You're going to blow up your power plants <laughs> and everything's going to backlog. And uh, yeah, it's going to be extremely difficult to get um, all that set up. I have been saying how much... I think this is going to be a game changer, like the whole mm -hmm. of 1.0. And it just shows from these like four, five little things that we've touched on, there are huge connotations for your factories. And I, yep. I, I tip my hat off to anyone who wants to continue with their save come 1.0. Good luck to you, because <laughs> I, yeah. I ain't going anywhere near that. I'm starting yeah. fresh. I'm doing a new playthrough. I'm not doing that. 100%. I think I agree with it. I think total, uh, like, as you said, I think you should start again. I think you should start again. It's not just that as well. It, one, it's the full experience of the game. Yeah. But on top of that, if you're going in and you're already on phase three, um, the story, you would have missed the story from phase one, two, uh, and you would have missed some things. Mm -hmm. So um, you might miss achievement opportunities if you're achievement hunter, uh, especially when it comes to milestones. Unless the milestones the achievements unlock, I um, just I know we haven't talked about this. I know we haven't even mentioned this, and we're, we're getting on for time. But I like you mentioned the achievements. I, we've yeah. both seen them. Mm -hmm. I think they're too easy. Anyone can achieve oh, yeah, them. I really want some some more complicated ones. And it was brought up yeah. in stream today by one of my members, uh, Minecraft, that he'd like um, achievements like produce, uh, like automate one of every yeah. item or to yeah. get through the whole game without using uranium power. Things like that would be just such a challenge that I would yeah, grasp I and work towards. But it's like... Okay. I agree. I do. I, do, I, I I'm I'm in the same boat. I do. I do think they're easy. Um, I think the difficult ones are on there is one is to get the coffee cup because you, you need to play. You need to complete the game to get it. Yeah. You need to complete the space elevators. The other one is more of a time based one because you need to sink a thousand coupons. Um, but well, you need a thousand coupons, which is the golden nut. Yeah. So that's the other one, which is a little bit harder to get because that's more time based and. Mm -hmm. It could be quicker depending on the items you put into your resources. Yeah. So, yeah. But it, it it just it feels, looking back at them now, a bit of a a miss in in terms of missing the mark. Um, I mean, it's great that anyone can achieve it. It's, yeah, it's I, I great. Maybe they, they can still get added. Um, yeah. Well, I I definitely be down for an expanded. Uh, maybe they're they're just holding them back so we don't try and like work out <laughs> something, something from ones. them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, damn content creators trying to break everything down. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do think they're easy. I think, Matt, what's, what, if, out of all the achievements, what's your favourite one? Because mine is the Critical Role. Yeah, I'm I was going to say I'm the Critical critter. Role one with uh, yeah. the Master Spheres. <sighs> yeah, I'm a big lover of Critical Same. Role. I love, I, I watch, I'm currently on season two, like episode 110, I think it is. And as you know, they're all about three, four hours long. <laughs> yeah. So I just no brained them. I'd always have them on in the background whilst I was working on something. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about this the other day, and I know this is not the topic of the video, <laughs> but like <laughs> going to strain away to D and D. But uh, yeah, I, I'm one of these that I can't put it on in the background. I have to watch it um, to because I like to visualize the story in my head, mm -hmm. like like what they're doing, all this kind of stuff. I can't have it running in the background um, because just my brain goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Only thing you heard right then was... Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll see, see it in a moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, fuel. So we're getting yeah. that. We have, we have no waste. Um, like I said, it's going to be extremely hard. I don't think people understand how hard this end game is going to be. Um, we won't even talk about Satisfaction Plus. Because uh, <laughs> that, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. And whatever they do with that, we'll get to it in two years. Um, <laughs> the other thing... Um, <laughs> There's a new space elevator part. Yeah, the jump pad. Um, I'm, I'm. If if anyone's um, ever played Apex Legends and you know who Octane <laughs> is, um, you know he's a little crazy guy who throws something on the ground that 
makes him have a jump pad. It, it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, it does look like that. That's the um, mm. the AI expansion units, right? I think I've got that name right. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I've lost <laughs> I've lost count of all these long names. I just, I've got Toblerones for the <laughs> Trigons. Ikea lamps for the, the the other stuff. I've got Sam Juice, which is the fluctuators. Like, yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Th thanks, Coffee One thing Stain. I was... Um, one thing I was... Uh, I don't know if anyone saw my thumbnail for the uh, achievement video, but I made my own little uh, uh, achievement on there, which was uh, Killer Doggo. Um, imagine if that was an achievement. I feel like they might have hit the mark on that one. Ooh. Missed the mark on that one. And I, <laughs> I don't like doing it, but imagine if that was an achievement. I think everybody was sitting on 99% achievement completes. Uh, except one person. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I instantly DM Snot and I was like, why is this not a thing? And if I'm not, I'll quote unquote, what did he say? Um, I'll, he literally put, easiest achievement of my life. That's what he put after I showed him. <laughs> um, because he likes to bonk it, if you remember. Was it update four? Yes. Yeah, he bonked it on the head. Yeah, with, with the. Yeah, so. I thought it was a baseball bat, but it, isn't it? Um... Yeah, it was a baseball bat, right? Was it? I... What did I say? I, I thought it was something else in the end. I think it was, I think it was a baseball bat. Chat I did, I did, will let us know if we're mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the um, other thing, going back to the, the space elevator parts, is that we do know that there are more coming. Um, yeah. At least one more. I think it could. Yeah. I think it could be to to do with the dark matter actually. I, yeah. I've got a hint of that. Um, but I think there might yeah, be something else as well. And the the other thing is, why do we still have six inputs on the blooming space elevator? It drives me insane. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it's because we've never there's ne there's no phase that ends with six items. Yeah, um, it is a weird one, and maybe that will be sorted for the end game. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but the other thing is what we're building the assembler for. Uh, the space uh, things like. I, I talked to Total earlier, and it kind of does make sense that we're making a ship, maybe, mm -hmm. um, or maybe a cafe because we see that little cube on the, <laughs> the end, little food court, <laughs> the little food court thing. Um, but then I was looking at the other end, and I was talking to Total because we're like, what is it? It's, we're not going to see a pelican land on the end of that. No, right? it's, it's going to be a big a, freight ship. Yeah, big. But one. then I was saying, like, when we complete a milestone, we have our little bird that flies off. So where's he flying to? I feel like he's going to hook on to that little ledge thing. But it's so, then, so like, the, the, the little yeah. drone's so small and the space elevator's so big. Yeah. And just, yeah. why? I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to say something really bad right there. But <laughs> <laughs> Holding it back. that in my experience. It looks really small, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... Anyway, um, back to being PG. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so. It's, it's it's like what we kind of building it for. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I, what I would love, and I, I think most people agree, is a yes. It is a, you know, a little cafe. When we do complete it, you can maybe go we can go into it. Yeah. Yeah, and we can just view over everything. I think that'd be nice. Even if it's a um, teaser, like a, a little little Easter egg, you can go out there and just view yeah. your world. Yeah. And it'd be the good place, I think, when you pick up your coffee cup from that place, that's when the credits roll and you can continue your playthrough. Ah. Um, I, th I think that'd be a nice little uh, end. We were talking in my, my stream that mm -hmm. what if after we do the space elevators and you've essentially f finished the game, if yeah. then the space elevator becomes a bit like a sink and you have orders to fulfill. A bit like um Yeah, yeah. The the yeah. vortex and shapes and shapes. Yeah, too. kind of like um like World of Warcraft, you kind of got, you've got your end game dungeons and stuff. <laughs> like you've got your end game end game tasks, like yeah, you could yeah, like, just for the funds of it and Yeah. Uh, and then and try you'd to have the reasons for the inputs actually. If you had to yeah. to automate the inputs of mm -hmm. like X computers and supercomputers and quantum neural processor things yep maybe like imagine if there's an achievement to make you know 50,000 tickets <sighs> like okay that's just too hard i wouldn't get I know, that one <laughs> <laughs> god I imagine there's people just racking that up oh boy <laughs> Um, just leaving the PC on. Yeah, like, just constantly. Like, on <laughs> a dedicated server, just running constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess we should move on to the quick last topic. 
um, because we are going on 50 minutes. Yes. What um, was the... I don't have that one. It is the um, the little mark, the the new blueprints. Oh, well, hmm, yeah. Well, that... Mm. Could it have been a herring? I don't think so. Uh, I don't no, think so. No. I am... Um, I, yeah, I feel like this past two years, I feel like we've been... We've all been saying red herrings and everything, but Snut has been honest last last two years, really, if you think about it, uh, when he's mentioned things, because they have come true. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like we are playing ourselves, and he's sat there just going, I'm just doing what I need to do, and you guys are the ones that are going... Hmm. <laughs> so uh, because they played they planted that seed early on um and uh i i, I uh, yeah i i do think we're getting um i don't know if it's going to be a six by six or it could be something totally new and as i mentioned to you this before mm -hmm. the way i would like to see blueprints used is if anyone's ever played minecraft tech it i'm going to take you back now um when you used to put down a quarry you used to put down for example, a beacon in one corner. Then you'll run to the other corner and you put down another beacon. It then creates a box. Mm -hmm. So you could build something and build something. And uh, because now we have, you know, bigger machines, you know, we might need it because at the end of the day, a quantum encoder is not going to fit on our current mark the yep. blueprint. So it would be understandable to do it that way. And it would have been nice. Maybe if beacons are coming back and they'd be using it that way, that'd be kind of nice. But that's the way I would like to see blueprints be utilized. Uh, and I think it should be up to the player, really, uh, on how it works. But then again, it also depends on the engine. Yeah, a really. lot of people uh, have definitely been wanting the ability to not only do a bigger radius, but to be able to grab part of your factory that's currently yeah. running and just yeah. duplicate that. And so that exactly. could definitely be it, be the case. I I, I want to say that it's a larger blueprint designer. It's like a tier two version, but I think there's yeah, some yeah. new features that they're, they're going to bring in. Um, so you could mm. be right with that. You you could be with um, being able yeah. to it, spam it, it's, beacons. It, it's what I would like to see, but I don't think it's going to be realistic i don't think we're going to get it that yeah it's just I such do, a I do. different feature to add in from the current yeah. system yeah we could have a mark two we could have a mark three we could like we know the mod support it because there is yeah. mods that have bigger ones so we know it supports it and the engine runs fine with it um and i think because we what what's the one we have now is it a four, four by four? four yeah and then we have we could have a six by six and an eight by eight mm -hmm. um i think that that could work fine um but like you said i feel like some people including myself would like to you know copy something i've already put down mm -hmm. um it could be a new tool we might get uh um, ah, yeah could be yeah you just put it down and it could be uh, maybe i don't think it'll be late game but who knows <clears throat> who knows yeah well hopefully we'll find out next well this this friday coming this friday yeah this friday or if coming, not we then, will then. uh the week after <laughs> yeah yeah so hopefully you've all booked time off because i know a lot of you have booked time off i know a, lo a lot of you are going to get sick this weekend um, well uh, you enjoy your holiday bits i know i'm going to be working the whole <laughs> oh yeah we, we, we've both got marathon stream because you're on the front page on the 10th right yes yeah and you're the yeah. next day uh, and i'm on the 11th yeah so i'm gonna be busy uh, yeah. it's gonna be bloody mental so if anyone doesn't know total's doing a marathon stream i'm doing a marathon stream um and it's gonna be a, a, a fun fun time yeah gonna celebrate Who knows, the maybe, launch maybe we might record another one of these live on the marathon because we might need a break. Yeah, of... that's true. Uh, <laughs> if you guys yeah. are interested, do do let us know because we're, we're going to yeah. be working a lot. It might be nice just for us to chill for a bit and talk. <laughs> yeah, just to talk about <laughs> what's going on, what's your plans, how you find an update one, what's your thoughts, what's the chat's thoughts and all this kind of stuff. I think it'd be kind of a fun idea. Or to, um, to discover like how right or how wrong we were even with all of these uh, speculations. Yeah. yeah. There's already been so many speculations about us going out. Oh, these guys have already been playing playing it. Do, doing a Let's of, Play <laughs> series together, doing a regular <laughs> podcast. Yeah. yeah. For those that don't know, we did kind of do a little bit of a Let's Play one before, and it was like every Wednesday or something. Yeah, we did like uh, a mini then, stream together. Yeah, and then obviously we had different project commitments at the time. This is the reason, because a lot of you always ask, like, are you guys going to do a Let's Play together? Are you going to do like you and Kibbs? 
we're very busy. Yeah. And Satisfactory is not one of them games you can record in two hours. No. Um, I think at that a, point I, I moved to Mexico and it just it screwed mm. everything up because obviously we had six hours yeah. difference between us. But yeah. And we, like I said in a previous video, we have had a little bit of a discussion about it, but nothing was confirmed or anything. It was just like the only thing we could potentially do, but there's no one here yet or confirmed. So don't say it's coming. Oh, it's more is of a pass it, it on site. <laughs> don't say that. Don't turn into snub. Um, hmm. it's, uh, it's kind of like a pass it on kind of save. So I'll have it one week and then it'll total will have it maybe two weeks from then and Kibs have it you know, six weeks from then. Sort of thing. We we don't know. Uh, but we could have some fun with some other, maybe some challenges that could yeah, be kind of fun. I don't maybe. know. There's a lot of people that asks. Yes. And even even when a, we do address these, we still get asked. Yeah. Like, um, I did a 20 questions the other day, and then people was like, you, uh, you know, are you, <laughs> it was uh, one of the questions was, um, are you starting a new save for 1.0? Yes. Oh, boy. The <laughs> amount of people that's asked am I starting a 1.0 new save for 1.0 mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Are you, yeah. yeah. But anyway. All the time. Um, <laughs> I think we we're strafing our topic. We now. are, right. Topic. Um, last item was the lasers we saw the machine. Oh, yeah. We haven't really... Yeah. Yeah, some more. It's the last topic, by the way. <laughs> okay. So I have two ideas as to what it could be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The first one is that it is extracting the the energy of the summer sleep and it's going to produce a different item and that it will also be able to use them for the mercer sphere and my reasoning mm -hmm. behind that is i've already done a video why i think that the manufacturer that we saw with the the purple flames yeah. and the the electricity around it um was producing double the amount of resources double the amount yeah yep. despite the the overclock on that one as well and yep. so I, I think it could be a <clears throat> duplication item. And I yep. presume we wouldn't just stick the summer sloop into a slot in the manufacturer, but we'd need another item like we do from slugs to power power shards. We we need yeah. to produce it somehow. Yeah, and I kind of agree with you on this because um, we've, if you look and we're going back to the wiki again, there is other variants of the, the, the machines like Mark IIs and stuff. And the simplest way, in my eyes, then rather than making new machines that have a different variant, a different, you know, texture and all this kind of stuff, different look. And it could be that we do get a new item and it is something you put into a machine mm -hmm. and it gives you kind of like a Mark II variant the only, of the machine. The only reason I would question that is because we only have a set amount of summer sleep. And so I, I don't know if it's exactly, 50 yeah. or 100, I think it's 150 this is Mercer Spheres, 100, right? According, oh, no, 150 Summer Sleeps, 50 oh, okay. Mercer Spheres, right? Is it? I, I'm just going off the, um, <laughs> the, achievement. the achievement, so I don't know off yeah. the top of my head. But it doesn't seem like yeah. that many, especially if it has a second use as well, mm. it doesn't seem yeah. like a lot of machines that we can use that yeah. if it is a Mark II variant. And you'd think they'd yeah. probably want something like that, really, just to limit the the performance. Strain. Yeah. Because imagine if you could put down, you know, uh, allow the double product, but then you could put a crystal in there as well to, like, at the end of the day, you the, the less machines you put down, the more FPS you have. Yes. Um, so the better performance. So it's like, it is an easier solution than spamming 40 machines. Because if you think about it, like Snut said in the video, you know, 40 machines for one Mark VI belt coming out of a Mark III minor. It seems like a lot, a lot but that it's a, it's a lot for people who don't build large buildings. But if you could eliminate that, mm -hmm. if you were to put, you know, 200% 200 200 things in there, you're going to bring that down to 20. Yeah. So, um, and if you was able to put that, you know, into a Mark, if you was to upgrade it with a summer sleep or whatever with this, the, the, the ideas of what it could be, mm -hmm. you could be limited down to 10. And yeah like yeah i i think it could well be to do with that but then again with the the summer sleep there it also looks like it could be another building altogether and um, yeah. my other guess would be given that we have received everything that they said they weren't adding from the the wikipedia list um the only things that are left are the powered wall supposedly powered replaced walls, yeah. by the power um 
the the power joints on the walls. I don't think that's the case. Wall attachments. Yeah, I think we're yeah. getting some kind of wireless power, which is why we saw the the purple power joints mm -hmm. in that video. Um, yeah. Or it could be well the uh, remote storage. I think it could be that, and you put an item in. Yeah, it could be the remote storage. That's that's. I think that's where I'm kind of leading to. Yeah, is what we're seeing is the back of the machine, and you have to put a summer sloop in there to power it, uh, to, to to utilize it. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you think it would and be used can... up, or if you, no. you can you can use it as long as the pad, like the summer sloop is in the machine? No, I think. I think it's more of a balance thing. So I think there is 50 summer sloops, we kind of said, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. So that's possibly 50 remote storages. So you're not spamming them everywhere. You're not making a massive... Because every item in the game, I don't... Is, there's more than 50 items in the game, right? Uh, kind of think of it. Uh, there's got to be. There's over... No. Th I think... Produ like I build, buildable items, like items that you use for buildings. I think there's just over thirty, but then we've got a load of new items as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not. I don't really count ore into that. Yeah, so. me neither. Yeah. Um, but like, if you think about it, like fifty is a good limit. You're not going to be spamming them everywhere. You could be. It's more of a. But even fifty seems a lot. Um, yeah. But if yeah. you're using it for multiple things, then like you say, that balance could be. Like, mm -hmm. do you want to get double output or do you want to be able to collect your items? I know I'd probably use yeah. it for all of my, my storage because everyone deletes yeah. my inventory all the friggin' time. Yeah. The other option is personal teleporters. I think that uh, might be Mercerspheres. Mercerspheres, you think? Yeah. Because I'm thinking, you know, is we put a machine down. Um, I would like teleporters. I think teleporters for personal travel, I think, would be nice. Mm -hmm. As much as I love traveling on my train lines, I think it'd be kind of cool just to... Uh, the way that we kind of set up is kind of like a drone port. So you go over to it, you'll maybe open the UI or something and you click on it mm -hmm. and that will set the destination where it's going to go to. Uh, and I feel like you'll do it that way. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that could work. Or the other way is that there, there are only two teleporters that are linked. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, so kind you, of, yeah, you'd have like a teleport hub that could go to yeah. each of the... Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, Possible solution with the Mercedes, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking we do find out about the summer sleeps and Mercedes fees this week. Oh. That's, I think that's 100% confirmation. Yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. If you guys yeah. want us to talk about this after the video's gone live on Friday, do let mm -hmm. us know and maybe we'll be able to squeeze in some time really quickly to do another video yeah. like this. Yeah, we could release another one on Sunday next week, maybe. Maybe. Just um, in, in time for 1.0. Yeah, yeah then whenever we do one after that yeah so right we yeah, will we will leave it there i'm um guys mm -hmm. do check out bits if you haven't already i'll put a link below in the comments um it's all yeah and uh i hope you've enjoyed this yeah it's been it's been fun it's been different it's been more of a chill video now we just kind of need to edit this and put it together so yeah i don't yeah, it should be fun no shall I? I i might not edit that much i think it's been quite a nice I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll just kind of just leave it the way it is, right? Mm -hmm. We'll just kind of do it. And then maybe if we do one on next Sunday, depending on what people think, would you like to see more visual representation? Okay, yeah, yeah. So they can kind of see maybe a bit of B-roll over it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And always from me, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.